Despite the very ominous reputation of Nazi Germany, it is important to recognize that they also have significant contributions to everyday products. That's right, folks. The Hitler-led Nazi regime was driven by a desire for technological supremacy, which led to breakthroughs in various fields. They fostered innovation across multiple sectors, including transportation, medicine, and weaponry, and hardly anyone knows about it today. But not anymore, because in this video, I'm going to show you some of the products that were originally influenced by developments during the Nazi era. So, without any more delay, let's start the video. Although you can't fully credit the Nazis for coming up with a working helicopter, they are still the pioneers of helicopter technology during World War II. The Nazis' emphasis on aerial warfare and their investment in aviation research propelled progress in helicopter technology, marking them as early pioneers in this field and shaping the future of vertical flight. German engineers, led by Heinrich Falk and Anton Flettner, developed early helicopter prototypes like the Falk Wolf FW61 and the Flettner FL282 Colibri. These innovative designs showcase advancements in rotorcraft technology, including the use of counter rotating rotors for stability and control. Although these helicopters were primarily used for exploring and coordination between groups during the war, their development laid the groundwork for modern helicopter design and influenced subsequent rotorcraft development worldwide. Infrared night vision has developed so much in recent years and is used in various fields today, like military operations, law enforcement, surveillance, and wildlife observation. And who are we to thank for it? The Nazis. They used the technology to help their soldiers see in the dark and gain an edge in combat. Sure, they might have had some questionable motives, but hey, we can't deny they were onto something with this tech. The German army introduced the first night vision device, called Gen Zero, in 1939, and the system combined infrared lighting with an infrared image converter in an optical sight. By the war's end, they had equipped 50 Panther tanks with night optics. Fast forward to today, and those same infrared principles are what allow us to see in the dark. Are you a Coke fan or a Fanta fan? Well, next time you go grab a nice chilled Fanta bottle, just remember this beverage originated in the Nazi era in Germany. During World War II, a trade embargo in 1941 led to a shortage of Coca-Cola syrup in Germany, and the company's German division decided to devise a new beverage from scratch just by using the locally available ingredients. The result was Fanta, a carbonated soft drink that quickly gained popularity. Originally created as a substitute, Fanta was made from fruit juices and became a symbol of resilience amidst wartime limitations. The word Fanta comes from the German word Fantasy, which means imagination or simply fantasy. After the war, Fanta was reintroduced in 1955 and has evolved into a global brand under the Coca-Cola company. The V-2 rocket was the world's first long-range guided ballistic missile and was one of Nazi Germany's most infamous technological advancements. It was developed under the leadership of Werner von Braun the controversial German-American aerospace engineer and his team, and was used by the Nazis to strike targets, causing significant destruction and loss of life. Despite its devastating impact, the V-2 rocket was a huge step in rocket technology and laid the foundation for future developments in space exploration. Following the war, von Braun and many of his colleagues were recruited by the United States contributing to America's space program and ultimately playing a pivotal role in the Apollo moon missions. While the V-2 rocket symbolizes the horrors of war, its legacy is a lot more progressive and made it possible for humans to explore space. German scientists were in pursuit of pharmaceutical breakthroughs and synthesized methamphetamine, which is also known as meth. It's a strong stimulant and was initially used to enhance soldiers' alertness and combat fatigue. In fact, the German soldiers were the most enthusiastic early adopters of pill popping on the battlefield to stimulate the central nervous system, reduce fatigue, and stay awake for longer times. Meth wasn't like other drugs like heroin or alcohol with hollow pleasure, and that's why it became the Third Reich's obsession because it gave them physical and mental superiority. Hitler had declared that they needed only the strong people, not the weak and meth gave them exactly what they needed to feel stronger. 
After the war ended, meth's popularity persisted, and it became widely prescribed as a treatment for various conditions, including depression and obesity. People could even buy chocolate spiked with methamphetamine. Please take two seconds to help me out and hit the like and subscribe if you are enjoying the video so far. Each like and subscribe helps support this channel and keeps me motivated to keep making you valuable content. Thank you. Now back to the video. Anechoic tiles are basically rubber or synthetic polymer tiles designed to absorb sound, minimize reflections, and avoid detection. German scientists sought to develop technologies to reduce the detection of their aircrafts, leading to the creation of materials with high sound-absorbing properties. These early experiments lay the foundation for these tiles and became instrumental in various applications, including radar stealth technology, architectural acoustics, and aerospace engineering. These tiles were first applied on a German U-boat in 1940, where they served to reduce the vessel's acoustic signature, making it harder for enemy sonar to detect. After the war, the production continued with advancements in material science and engineering, refining the performance and versatility. Today, anechoic tiles are utilized in a number of settings. The assault rifle is a versatile firearm combining the power of a rifle with the maneuverability of a submachine gun. And who needed more lethality than the Nazis? That's why the beginning of this rifle can be traced back to the Nazi era. In the late 1930s, German engineers developed the Sturmgewehr 44, also called STG 44, the world's first widely used assault rifle. This revolutionary weapon offered soldiers increased firepower and control, making it highly effective in combat situations. Despite the dark motivations behind its creation, the STG-44 set the standard for modern assault rifles and influenced subsequent firearms designed worldwide. Post-war, the concept of the assault rifle continued to evolve, and today, assault rifles remain a staple in military arsenals and are utilized by armed forces around the globe. Jet engines are like the backbone of global transportation, and this groundbreaking propulsion technology that revolutionized aviation owes much of its development to research during the Nazi era. In the 1930s, German engineer Hans von Ohain and British inventor Frank Whittle independently pioneered jet engine designs. However, it was the German Messerschmitt Me 262, the world's first operational jet-powered fighter aircraft, that showed the potential of this revolutionary technology. Despite being introduced late in World War II, the ME-262 demonstrated superior speed and performance compared to piston engine aircraft. Later advancements in jet engine technology continued, leading to the widespread adoption of jet-powered aircraft for both military and civilian purposes. Ah, the iconic Volkswagen Beetle, better known as the Bug with its unmistakable bug-like shape. But don't let its adorable appearance fool you. This little car holds a big place in automotive history. Born out of necessity during Nazi Germany's reign, the Beetle was designed to be simple, affordable, and reliable transportation for the masses. With its rear engine layout and distinctive curves, the Beetle quickly captured hearts worldwide. It was designed by Ferdinand Porsche after being commanded by Hitler who later commissioned it as the people's car. You may find it funny today, but it lived its time. First manufactured in 1938, the Beetle was discontinued in the 1970s and later revived in 1998. Now that no one buys this model anymore, Volkswagen discontinued the production in 2019. But it's still very much a part of car collectors' portfolios. Jägermeister, the iconic German herbal liqueur, remains both famous and widely used today enjoying popularity across the globe. Developed in 1934 by Wilhelm and Kurt Mast, it was initially crafted for hunting parties, hence the name Jägermeister, which means master hunter in German. This drink was popular with the Nazi hierarchy. One of Hitler's right-hand men, Hermann Göring, popularized the drink among top officials, and the soldiers used it as an anesthetic and disinfectant. Despite its origins, it gained widespread popularity beyond hunting circles and the military, becoming a staple in bars and nightclubs worldwide. Now you know that despite all the horrors the Nazi regime committed, their scientists and engineers also led advancements in various fields and made notable contributions to technology and medicine. So tell me, which invention shocked you the most?
leave a comment down below. That's it for today's video. If you learned something new and the video was valuable, please press the like button if you haven't already and check out the channel where you will find tons of informative and interesting content. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in another video very soon.